What's going on guys and welcome to, to another Reputize video. Robin Hood was directed by Otto Batters and stars Taryn Egerton and Jamie Foxx. And it follows Robin, a war-hardened crusader along with his Marouche commander and mentor, plan an audacious revolt against the sheriff and the corrupt English crown. Now judging by the film's title, Don't Let It Fool You, and of course anybody who's watching this review now yeah, of course, it's already been out, and I, I apologize for the wait. I was considering on reviewing this when it was in theaters, but I just never got around to it. So a lot of y'all already know what it's about. I wanted to do it anyway, because I've never seen it. I rented this movie in Redbox, and I knew what I was getting into. I knew it wasn't quite exactly a remake of the Disney version of the original. So I knew what I was getting into. So get in with the positives. I've got to give it to the people who did the special effects in this. It, it looked pretty amazing. It kind of reminded me of The Matrix a little bit. No, nobody was up in the air. Or anything that nobody was in the air or anything. It was like mostly shooting arrows and everything would just go in slow motion. I like action when it shows stuff like that. Of course, that being said, the cinematography and lighting was just great. It was it was crystal clear. Of course, I read it on Blu-ray, so yeah. The set and costume designs were that of one third historically correct, one third contemporary and one-third futuristic. That's what gave this movie a unique quality about it. Most of the characters was done pretty well, except for one, but I'll get to that one later. Taron Egerton, or Taron Egerton, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that name correctly. He plays the main hero of this film, Robin, and I thought he brought Spunk to the character. Much like he did in Kingsman. He did a really good portrayal of this part. Jamie Foxx plays, and I'm just going to let you read down there. Because I'm not even going to pronounce that name. At first, I wasn't that much into him. I'm not really that much of a Jamie Foxx fan. I know he's a singer on the side. He's a rapper of sorts. She take my money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. Way over time, that digs on me. Uh. Because I could. <laughs> I wasn't never really much into him, but by the time the, at the end of the second act happened of this film, he did a pretty good job. He definitely stepped up for what he had to do. He plays the mentor, the guy that shows Robin everything that he needs to know. At first, they were like enemies at the beginning, but then they grew a friendship. It came all in its own, and he did a really good job. I favor Jamie Foxx more as an actor than a singer. That's just my opinion. And we get a really great villain, the sheriff, played by the very talented Ben Middleson, who's been on uh, several other projects that I've seen, but I thought he played a very convincing villain. They gave him a little bit of a backstory, didn't really show it, but they gave him a backstory as a little bit of an explanation as to why he is the way he is. And last but not least, I'm sort of putting this in the positives, but I'll slide me into the next. The love interest for Robin, Marion, played by Eve Hewson. I thought she did an okay job. She was kind of dull. I felt like they could have improved her character just a bit. So sliding into the negatives. That one character I mentioned earlier... Jamie Dorman plays a guy named Will Scarlet. He was kind of like the town's leader, people's leader, and plays the other love interest of the woman. After thinking that Robin is dead at the first act of this, and once he comes back, like everybody realizes, oh, he is alive. Well, this guy, Will Scarlet, I felt like he was useless. I didn't feel like he had a place in this. I felt like if you removed his character, then it would have been fine. I felt like they, they just threw this character in just so they could have an ending for a sequel. That's all I'll say. The story does drag on a little long. Though it was a good story, had a good meaning behind it, so does all the other Robin Hood tales. It just felt a little draggy. I haven't reviewed this, and I don't, I don't really plan on it unless I get pushed into it. But it kind of reminded me of the film King Arthur Legend of the Sword, which came out back in 2017. That one was watered down, but 
the only triumph this film has over that one, I feel like it does have more action in it. Yes, Robin Hood does drag on a little bit, but not as much as King Arthur. That one was just so watered down. It took forever to get to its point. There, there's my review for that one. So I don't need to do it now. But that's one thing that this film has over that one. I feel like this one has a little bit more action in it. Plus it's not as long as King Arthur. This one is like maybe 10 or 15 minutes shorter. So that really helped this film a lot. My final thoughts, it's not a terrible film. It's not as bad as most people are making it out to be. I remember when this was in theaters and maybe this was half the reason why I didn't really review it right away. But a lot of people was comparing it to King Arthur, which I did not like. And plus, it, a lot of people were saying that because of the time that this movie has took place, most of the source material that takes place during that time, it, it doesn't really do all that well. Just something about it, it just doesn't set well with audiences. And really not with me either. But this one was a little bit of an improvement. I gotta give the direction and storyline that. You know, it does have more going for it than King Arthur ever did. I'm giving Robin Hood a C+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share, tell your friends. What did you think of Robin Hood? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. More newer reviews are coming. Thanks again so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get reputized.